Many product images are generated from physically based 3D renderings. In many cases, artists retouch the raw renderings by editing individual render channels. Here, the user adjusts this highlight on the bottle to make it match the one above, and removes this distracting reflection in the background. We can see the change clearly by flipping back and forth between the original and edited results. While this editing workflow is powerful, it can be hard for users to determine the right channels to modify. For these edits, the user has to inspect many channels to find the ones that contain the relevant highlights and reflections. More importantly, if the artist wants to adjust any scene properties after retouching, like replacing the bottle and glass objects with alternative geometry and shifting the viewpoint in this case, none of the image-based edits are preserved. He would have to redo the edits from scratch to reproduce the same effects. We present an approach that addresses these challenges. Our system helps users create image-based edits by automatically selecting suitable render channels. Here, after the user marks the region to edit, the system infers that the most likely channel to edit is the reflection channel from a white area light and generates a candidate mask for the edit. Then, the user adjusts parameters to edit the highlight. For the reflection in the background, our system actually determines that there are three reflection channels that contribute to the selected region. They are shown composited together here. In this case, the auto-generated mask is a bit noisy around the edges, so the user refines the mask by brushing and then removes the reflection. After retouching, the user updates the scene as shown earlier with new objects and a different viewpoint and our system automatically transfers the edit masks to the new view. For each edit, the optimization infers which render channels best explain the edit and uses these channels to synthesize new masks. Please see the paper for details. Given the transferred masks, in many cases we can simply copy the edit parameters from the original edits to produce a plausible result. but sometimes the original parameters are not appropriate for the new scene. Here, we create several local edits to parts of the car image, and the relevant masks get transferred correctly to the new view. But copying the parameters directly makes the ground reflection far too bright. Our system automatically optimizes the parameters for each mask, which produces a better result. Of course, the user is free to continue refining the transferred parameters in the new view as well. In addition to transferring edits between static views, our method can be used to propagate edits across a video. Here, we edit a single frame of the dragon by boosting the overall global illumination channel to make the dragon glow, and also emphasize the reflections. Our method automatically transfers the edits to the rest of the animation. Notice how the edits move with the reflections as the dragon turns. Here we show a few more examples of common edits that our system supports.
For detailed information on all of our results, please see our supplemental materials.